Alright, so it's Friday, uh, October 22nd, uh, about 11 in the morning. We just arrived at Kanazawa Station. Um, coming out the uh, train station, you can see this beautiful space frame, wooden gates at the front. These are decent. Alright, so still outside the station, but want to get another close-up of this beastly gate. Really nice. Also, over here, this is a uh, pretty cool little... Um, no, it's like a waterfall, but it's telling you the time, and it says welcome, and, but it uses the water in order to do this, so I'm going to check this out. Switched up to the time. If you look, all it is is just water being popped up or sprayed up. Or oh, dang, the time just changed. I missed it. That's really cool. So it changes to 20. Uh, well, there you guys are welcome. <laughs> okay, so our first stop in Kanazawa is this uh, art museum, little art museum. This is where I think our lecture is going to be. Um, it's a pretty cool space, actually. It's really kind of rugged down and burden. Um, I don't know exactly the point of the lecture yet, but I mean, I'm sure I'll find out real soon. We got some artwork on the wall, it's pretty cool. This is working uh, with pixels. So, I kind of like that a lot better. Dealing with the little Tetra. There's a whole group. Let's find the name on there. So yeah, we're gonna start off the lecture and go from there. Alright, so finishing up uh, our lecture, we all decided to come and grab some, uh, some sushi, some conveyor belt sushi. So, um, the way it works, it's a plate, it has a certain price, price to it, right there. So, I got myself a prime time seat. They're coming down the alley right here and judging, thinking about which ones I'm going to grab. So far, it's stacked up. If I get one more red, it'll come out to about $10. That's what I'm aiming for. A good deal. Oh, he's dropping this one. Too expensive. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice amount. So, yeah, having a good time, eating some sushi. Oh. Catch you at the museum.
So we finished our meal and uh, took a little bit of a walk over to another temple that we're looking at. So, um, so just kind of looking around it, all around it, and admiring its beauty. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. After this, we're supposed to go to the 21st century modern art museum designed by Sana. So, can't wait to get to that. Something a little bit more relevant to um, maybe as precedent for studio buildings. We were just going to kind of walk around. Um, we got a nice pond out over there in the garden. So, I'll probably pick this up once we start getting to move on to the museum. Alright, so we've reached the uh, 21st century museum of uh, modern art, I think it's called. Uh, it was designed by Sana, completed about five years ago. So, um, it's, it's beautiful, but. There's a lot of these cool little installations outside I want to go through. Let's go through this one right here. It's maybe something straight out of Sciart. That's pretty cool. Got this uh, pretty crazy color one too. Let's go to the facade of the uh, building. See that reflection too. Nice. Pretty cool. few photos pick up the video a little later on so we just walked inside As you can see they have you know, a little store right here some cool things cool display method rings around a fence I've seen them be going uh, some type of other project uh, where they have a lot of stuff thrown in collecting for recyclable stuff Nathan Myers <laughs> yeah check out that swim pool oh yeah I yeah. am more stuff over there. Tired, tired. Got a in there. What do you think? Love it. Let's <laughs> take a look down over here towards the swimming pool we were talking about. Um, as you can see by the plans right here, the building is a perfect circle, but there are square program placed within it. Um, Taking a walk through the hallway. It's another one of the entrances. Desk. Um, so out here is the swimming pool. Take your it's required to enter from. I guess I can't go in there because I have a ticket. It's pretty sick 
see the different spaces coming up. I'm going to take a few more pictures right now. The dope thing about this swimming pool is that it actually is only about a foot deep. Cuts off with glass and underneath it are spaces. Even the ladder goes down. Tickets. I think we're going to go into the gallery, no pictures, of course, but um, pick up a video once we get back outside from it. Right, so we weren't allowed to take photos anywhere else, but I think we're allowed to in here, so right now we are entering the United Rooms pool. Yeah. 